Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me for part 2 of the engine removal for Misty. I'm just going to dive straight back into where I left off last time. If you can see that. Spiders. <laughs> I was only in here about over a week ago and the spiders webs are um, everywhere. So yeah, straight back in from where I left off last time and let's get this engine out. So the first area I'm going to focus on today is the carb and the manifold. Get this side of the engine clear, it just gives me access to get into everything else. So I can give you one bit of advice which I've learnt from um, the minis. Keep all these individual items in separate boxes because it makes it a lot easier when you crack search them later on rather than just ripping stuff out and dumping it so keep them boxed and scribble on the box what it is makes life so much easier right first thing I'm going to do is get this air filter off and it's a simple butterfly clip here Oh wow, that's not been changed for a long, long time. There we go. So I'm going to leave the manifold intact, but I'm going to take the carburetor off. So the carburetor has quite a few connections that need to come off first. Starting at the back, <coughs> I have this, which is the choke cable. Why one single nut here, and if we can follow that back down here, up here, and through here. Next, by, release, by releasing the same method, you see here, this is the throttle cable, comes up here, comes down, and I think it's supposed to be red, <laughs> but it's been painted blue at some point. And follow up, and you can see it goes through here. All these will help me at a later date with visual aids of where they go and the routing etc. So, two nuts, one here, one here, and you can see there's nothing on the end of the cable. It's just going to pull free. What I will do, because I am quite pernickety about that, is I'll also stick a bit of masking tape on each cable, outlining what they are. Right, choke cable first. Want to hold the inner nut. One for the outside nut. Doesn't have to come all the way off, just enough to be loose to pull this through. Right, the same procedure for the throttle cable. Not worried about marking any of these because all the cables, like most of the parts in here, will be getting replaced. The root and obviously it comes through the bracket here. So I'm going to mark that up and I'm going to do what I've done with the other one and stick it on the firewall using duct tape. Keeps it out of the way. Right, next I'm going to take off the vacuum pipe here, which is just a pop off, and this connects to the distributor. So I'm going to tuck that away there, out of the way, and then we can focus on the fuel line. Fuel line you can see is pretty cracked here. 
Now when I tried to start this the fuel was pretty low so I don't know how much fuel is in here and I haven't drained the tank so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a clamp on uh, I'm not bothered about breaking this or damaging this because it will be getting replaced and once I've got this undone here and pulled off I'll get a basin which I have and if there is any comes out I'll just drain it out I wouldn't imagine there's much because the fuel pump's not um, ticking so it's not going to pump too much out so if there is any fuel in the system it's going to be between here and here but be wary of the dangers when working with fuel, flammability etc As predicted, none came out. Can't even smell much to be honest, so let's see what happens when we take the clamp off. Dry as a bone. Oh, keeps it clean for me. So just a quick check around the car before I go into the last bolts and I'm glad I did because I forgot to release the throttle return string. So basically this just hooks over this down here and then onto the basically the return on the throttle. So just a pair of pliers to pull this off and then it frees it from the, the bracket on the exhaust here. So the spring is off. It was more fiddling than what I anticipated I have to say. I ended up sort of bending this out to get it off um, but you can see the bracket it's held on here on the join between the manifold and the exhaust downpipe but yeah that spring will be getting replaced anyway but as you can see I had to bend it straight just to manoeuvre it to get it off Next, as I said before, two bolts one here and one here and then the carb should just lift off. There we go, one carburetor off and then one bracket could come off as well but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave this on there just pop the screws on and it keeps it there, prevents it getting lost Now that the carbs out of the way, you can see the room I've got to work it would have been a bit fiddly getting under here, it would have been possible but it just makes it easier So. I need to disconnect the downpipe of the exhaust from the manifold but you can see under here it's quite rotten a lot of rust so a couple of bolts one here one here
we go. Got a bit of string, I think, just to hold it against the, the bracket here to stop it catching the engine when it um, finally goes. Right, I'm going to call that a day there for myself because the clouds are coming over and it's looking like it's going to rain and it's quite a good place to stop. So, next, when I come back, I'll be moving on to all the wiring and everything else that's connecting the car still to the engine. So, um, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers!